happy Saturday. I hope you guys weekend is off to a great start. Today I'm back with another video to do the Saturday makeup switch up. And if you're new here, hi, my name's Tracy. Welcome to the channel. I hope you'll consider subscribing so we can see you here at the next video. Okay, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and let's get on with the makeup. Now this week I'm going to switch it up. Um, if you, I, my makeup that I used last Saturday, I'm going to put the link to that video down below and maybe up top somewhere here. I'm not exactly sure, but for sure I'm going to link it below so that you can go and watch that video and you can see the makeup that I was using if you're interested. And I'm just going to show you guys what I'm going to use this week instead of taking up the time to like go through everything that I already went through last week. So I got that suggestion from somebody and I thought it was a good idea. So I'm going to try it. And first off, my nails. It is another Ulta Beauty Collection nail polish. And this one is in the color Blue Streak. It's just a nice blue color. So I wanted to let you guys know what this is or the color. And these are on sale for a dollar till the 25th, I believe. So they had a lot of different colors, metallics, and like a lot of really pretty colors. I bought about three different ones. So I may go back and get some more. And then my lip combo today is the LA Girl uh, Ultimate Lip Intense Stay Auto Liner. I have been loving these liners. They are so creamy and they're $4.99. So I mean, and this one is in the color Keep It Spicy. So it's just a really good neutral tone to go. I mean, it goes with pretty much anything that's a nude. And then on my lips, I've got the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. And the color is 316 Statement Nude. And these are just super comfortable. And I've just been loving these. I got two colors of these and now I want like more. So those are the lip combos. Like I said, you can get these at CVS. They're $4.99. And they always have some sort of a deal. Like right now, if you spend $10, you get $4 extra care bucks. So you get, you know, money to spend elsewhere. And I found out that you can use the extra care bucks to pay with things that you're going to get an extra care buck on. So once you get a few of those built up you can like roll them you can't do that at Walgreens but I guess at CVS you can you can continue to use the extra care buck to pay for something that you're going to get an extra care buck with if that makes sense anyhow let's get into the makeup that is on my face today let's start with the brows I'm going to be doing the ColourPop in Banging Brunette I'm going to get ready to do a video comparing a bunch of these um eye pencils so keep your eyes out for that one so you guys already know I like this it's like my favorite one and then I try I'm trying this new product I got this from shop miss a this is clean color Framus brows tinted brow mascara and the wand is kind of big on this like a regular mascara but it holds your brows like in tight like I'm I was like trying to go back through and comb it with a clean spoolie and I mean it had already set and they were locked down so that was pretty good setting spray this week Urban Decay All Nighter this is like my all-time favorite love the mist on it I love that it makes my makeup last it's just a great primer and then foundation this week the Healthy Elixir by CoverGirl and I have it in 725 buff beige and I like this because it includes a sunscreen. It's got a broad spectrum SPF and it has vitamins infused in it. And I like that they actually have an expiration date on the back of the bottle. That's really handy because then you know like how long you've had something. I'm not the type of person that's going to throw a palette away after six months because it has a little symbol that says six months. I'm going to use stuff until it's bad or until I feel like it's no longer usable. I think that's ridiculous to think that you would throw you know, something out after three months or six months, like a palette that you paid $50 for. No. Now, cream products are different and mascaras. I use, they usually dry out by three months. So, you know, that kind of stuff. But like palettes and things like that, mm -mm. I'm not getting rid of those. 
And then today I have on the ColourPop, you had me at hello. Is that what it's called? Yeah, you had me at hello. These colors are nice. They're, I kind of had a problem blending one of the, let's see, this shade right here. It's kind of seemed like it wanted, like once I hit it with the brush, it almost wanted to stay right where I had just laid it down. It didn't want to blend. So it took a little bit of extra blending with that one color, but the other colors seem to be fine. And then the other palette, you guys probably are not surprised, the element of surprise. I'm gonna be giving this some testing out this week. And then I may do a, a video like comparing all of the ColourPop palettes and I don't, I, I'm just trying to think of ideas for videos. So if you guys have any suggestions or things that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments. I would be more than happy to take anybody's suggestions, any feedback, anything. So just let me know. I'm open. And then, um, let's see, for bronzer this week, or no, blush. This is blush, yeah. I just pulled out my e.l.f. blush palette. Six bucks, you get four colors. And the pans, you can interchange them with other of the four pan palettes that they make. So like if you don't like this color, you can take it and like get a bronzer that you might use and pop it into the back. You can just pop it out and stick it in and so you can customize, make your own little palette. So that's a nice feature. And then to set my face, I use the Fit Me in the shadow, the shadow, the Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 310 Sun Beige. It's a pretty good color match for me. And then um, for concealer, I have brought out the ColourPop uh, No Filter Concealer and I have it in the color Lights 20. Today though, I use my own little concoction here. I had ended up buying one of the big value size of the IT Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Under Eyes, I think it is, concealer. And it's like really thick and it was kind of too dark like to brighten under the eyes. So I wasn't liking it and it was just sitting there. So I took an empty jar and I mixed it with some moisturizer and it lightened it and it made it a lot more hydrating under my eyes. So I really like this combination that I mixed up myself. I was even thinking I could mix it up in a bigger batch and use it as foundation because the tube is like huge. I bought it like on QVC one day. I don't even, I never watched QVC. And I was flipping the channels and I was like, oh, makeup. And I ended up buying like a couple different things. So. That's my favorite thing that I was able to do with it. Mix it, lighten it, and then make it more moisturizing. Okay, and then to set my under eyes, I'm using the Bare Minerals Invisible something, just the translucent side. And Butter Bronzer's back in the rotation. This is my favorite one. And I actually have, when I bought it, I didn't know that they had two different colors, that there was a light and a regular. And I have the light, and I mean, it's pretty... You know, it shows up pretty good and that way I can't go ham on my face and like look like I have orange all over my face. So it's plenty dark for me. And then for highlighters, the butter highlighters, I just stuck all three of them in because I just got them and oh, they smell so good. They smell just like the butter bronzers. So I have it in champagne, pearl and rose gold. And I think the rose gold is my favorite one so far. And um, they're on promotion again coming up starting tomorrow where you buy, I think it's like $10 and get $7 extra care bucks. So it's a good deal. And then I tried the Lash Princess Mascara and this is the false lash effect. And I really like it. I've heard, been hearing people talk about it for so long. It was always sold out at my Ulta. I finally got it and I was able to get it on a buy one, get one 50% off. So that made it even better and I do like it. I think it made my eyelashes look really nice because I don't do false eyelashes. I I hate the way they feel once they get like on my, I had them on one time and I was like, oh no, get these things off. And I yanked them off. So I'm not a false lash kind of person. And then I brought my Smashbox Photo Finish. No, yeah, Photo Finish foundation primer this is nice it's just a silicone based you know nice and slippery and for eyes primer 
Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's getting kind of, you know, down. So I want to get my full use out of it. And my Wet n Wild Photo Focused Concealer. This is my darker color for like touching up blemishes or whatever. And then I forgot my bottom mascara that I like is called the Mega Length. And I heard, I heard about this from the Taylor. She like to always use this on the bottom and she always uses it. And I'm like, there's gotta be something good about that. I'm gonna grab it. And it has like the little rubber wand with like the little pokey things on it. But the wand is like really small, like compared to the Lash Princess. Let's see, and the Lash Princess is just like a regular, you know, standard kind of wand, but see the difference in the size. So it works so good on the bottom lashes and it does not smudge or transfer. So I am loving this and yeah, I'm gonna keep using that and buying it. So those are the makeup products that I'm gonna be using this week. If you guys have any kind of recommendations, anything you wanna see, like I said, please leave me a comment. You can also see, find me on Instagram and that's gonna be it for this week. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.